At the War Memorial in Syracuse, Dan Duva with Syracuse Crunch goaltender Krister Godlewski's. And also, as we see, representing Latvia hockey. First of all, congratulations on being named to the Latvian Olympic team. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's it's a big honor for me. Uh, it's 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 a dream come true. I wonder how many people have the opportunity to dream of playing for the Olympics. Then how many get to realize it? At what point did you think it was something that could happen in your future? Hard to say. Maybe in the uh, in last World Championship when I played there, then I kind of start to be like national team player. And then you some some days think about it. Yeah, it, it should be really cool if I play in Olympics too. And now less than a year since then, you've been drafted by the Tampa Bay Lightning. You've come to North America to play professionally, ECHL, now the American Hockey League. Could you have imagined that this year would take place the way that it has? What have been some of the best moments of the past 365 days for you? Uh, it's definitely it's game against France in World Championship. We won. That was a really special moment and it was really important for for all Latvia and I was really happy to win that game and, and second probably is the drafted draft when they draft me. When my agent called me in five in the morning and told me, congratulations, you're drafted. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Did you think that you would have the opportunity to come and be the number one goalie in, in Syracuse? You've played in so many games recently. You've had success. Did you think that could happen so quickly? Yeah. Uh, I didn't expect that it can be so quickly. I, I don't think so. I'm a first goalie yet, but but of course, I mean, if you're a goalie, you just need focusing all the time, be the first. It doesn't matter which team you play, and, and it, it's happened. I, I get some games in Syracuse too. It's nice. So with uh, a few days for the Syracuse Crunch, who this weekend will play the Hershey Bears, it'll be social media night. See the hashtag Syracuse Crunch, that's Friday. And then Saturday, it's against the Binghamton Senators. But in the few days before the games, went to Lake Placid, site of the 1980 Olympics. United States team had the incredible victory over Russia, went on to win the gold medal. Knowing that you're going to the Olympics and to be at that rink, what feelings, what emotions did you have and what thoughts crossed your mind while you were there? Uh, I, I don't think I can explain that, but that rink, is some kind of emotions you can feel it and even if i d didn't go to the olympics but that i think it's a really special place for hockey player and knowing what happened in 1980 the americans were not expected to do very much and college players not professionals at the time russia was expected to beat them and you know right now i don't know if latvia is expected to win the gold medal but you can defy those odds, perhaps overcoming the obstacles, to be the underdog, maybe inspiration? I mean, if you go somewhere and play, you can go on the ice. I think about it. I hope we will not lose with a big score. You always go for victory and you always go for the biggest goal and, and we do the same when we go to the Olympics. So the Olympics for Latvia, it's only a few weeks away. You'll head over to Sochi, Russia. Can you talk about the players that you'll be joining? How many of them do you know? And how does a team come together in a short amount of time? Uh, I think we are not the only team we, who go there and, and, and just to go to the Olympics with, without the training camp. Though every team do that. So it's nothing special for us. And, and, and I mean, we know each other, I think, everybody. So it shouldn't be the hard thing. So for you in playing professionally here in North America, how do you prepare? Do you do anything different or do you continue your normal routine as you go into the Olympics just a few weeks away? I just concentrate, yeah, circus. I mean, you need to go step by step and concentrate game by game. You can think about Olympics and play in the circus. When it's come Olympics, then I will focus in for Olympics, but now I'm focusing only for circus. And in Syracuse, the focus has been terrific. 
back-to-back -back shutouts. You lead the league with four shutouts as a team. Syracuse has six. That's more than any other team in the league. What in the last two games has allowed you to play so well? Uh, I, I think the guys, the guys, the guys play phenomenal. They, they blocking shot. They, they didn't give lots of chances, and I think that's the way how we need to play. That's the way how we are. Uh, we are a good team. And we just need to continue to do that. You had a 0-0 game. It ends up as a shootout loss on the road. The next day, you go back in net. Was it uh, a motivating factor to have zero goals against but still lose when you play the same team the next day? It's, it doesn't matter how much you lose the goals if you lost the game. So you just come back, especially in home. We need one that game, especially if you, if you watch our table. Uh, we need points. That was the factor. You know, just. When the team scores one goal in the first minute of play, how does that affect your mentality? Do you feel better knowing your team's got that goal in the first minute? No, I just continue playing my game, focusing shot by shot, and, and, and try to get two points for the team. And they did. You held on the rest of the way, and Syracuse has points in the last five games. I wonder, as we watch from upstairs, the fans see you playing, is there a moment, a save or two that comes to mind, a save that you were really happy about, big play for you personally? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, save is save, you know. And if you lose the goal, you lose the goal. It doesn't matter how, how you lose the goal. So you just continue the game. So the, the team is playing well right now. You've had the last uh, several starts here for Syracuse with Cedric Desjardins in the NHL. What things do you learn from Cedric, who's been around a long time? He's a guy who's played in the NHL a little bit. What is the relationship like with your teammates who are also goaltenders? Oh, uh, I, I think we are good friends, you know, and, and his, his attitude extremely professional. He's really concentrated for the games and does the thing what I learned from him. And Syracuse home this weekend again. It's Friday against Hershey, Saturday against Binghamton. These are important divisional games, opponents you've seen before. Thoughts about the weekend? What do the Crunch need to do to come up with a couple of wins this weekend? I think we need to play like we played last five games. Disciplined and um, uh, good defensively. And when we get some chances, we need to score. Simple as that, right? Same with hockey. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a little trouble with my neck, but, <laughs> yeah, I have really fun. You, what about this team has allowed you to have fun? What do you like about the, the guys that you have here? Oh, they are extremely friendly. They, they joke a lot, and especially Nielsen, you know. It's always fun in a locker room. Even when we, if it's workout, it's mostly just lots of fun, you know, and it's fun to work. So it's really great to be here. Are you becoming more comfortable here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially when you win the games, you know. <laughs> it's, it's much better when you, when you, if you lose the game. Very good. Chris Drzgalewski, thanks for your time. Congratulations on the opportunity to play in the Olympics. Continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much. With Chris Drzgalewski, I'm Dan Duva.